Do you know what medium he used? Is, is he used like acrylics or? I didn't go too deep into that. I just know that. It was I wonder what. Kind of but um, I've what always been a very admired of him because because I think the first time I saw it, it was more like, well, it's beautiful in a feminine type of way, but it's like cartoonish. Yes. But and that's what really attracted me to it because it was kind of, it was cartoonish. And that's the reason why I was like, oh, okay, you know. I mean, yeah, the girls have a little bit of strap down here, and then, you know, some of them are running. That's very tasteful. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So Very tasteful, very so, subtle. So please, please, whatever you do, please check out Patrick Nagel. He is one in a million. Um, I, put them, I put him high up on there with the rest of, you know, Van Gogh and Renoir and all that kind of stuff. He's really, he didn't, he, he came in during the 80s, but man, did he make a difference. <coughs> You know, he and uh, Jackson Pollock made a big difference in the 80s. Because I know that style of Jackson Pollock that, that everybody was wondering about, like he just took a brush and just... <laughs> you do, you use a brush, you just... Squirted yeah. it. <laughs> he did. He just squirted it. Maybe, maybe he did a brush like, you know, flicked it a little bit. Look at the reviews. But, um... But yeah, he yeah. Now, I like Jackson Pollock a lot. I mean, and I I actually saw the um, movie that did on him with Jackson Pollock, and I forget who was who played him in there. But I'll do that when I'm doing the editing over here. I think it's Robocop. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, I think it's the guy that played Robocop. Mm. Peter Weller. Oh yeah, I know a movie he was in that you are gonna love. Peter Weller was in that movie, the greatest. Sci-fi, uh, low-budget type of movie, which was Buckaroo Banzai. Yes. In the 12th century. Yes. Buckaroo Banzai, man. If you ever get a chance to see some really good 80s nostalgic type of movies, head over and get your shelf some of that on Amazon. Buckaroo Banzai. Oh, I forgot he was uh, not to go off subject or anything. Naked Lunch. <laughs> Did you ever watch Naked Lunch? No, I didn't. Oh God! You, oh, if any, if if you know anything about um, William S. Burroughs, yeah. Okay, then yeah. He's, okay. I think yeah, I've heard of William S. Burroughs. Okay, it? yeah, it's William S. Mm, okay, that we'll go. We'll take a deep dive into William <laughs> S. Burroughs later on. <laughs> that man, wow. Yeah, William S. Burroughs. Okay. Not really, it's, this is sort of a short topic, but there are other things I want to get to also as well. But this is a short one, don't want to spend too much time on it, let's just go with it and see what happens. Ladies shoulder pads. The shoulder pads were meant to give them uh, a I'm kind of sharp, fashion. defined silhouette, silhouette that men had with their fancy suits and power ties. So. If you ever watched Designing Women, if you ever watched L.A. Oh my if you ever watched any, like maybe even the Golden Girls, that Yes, because was... Dorothy had the shoulder pads. <laughs> Why they made her look taller than she really needed to be was beyond me, but whatever. Yeah. But yeah, I wore shoulder pads. Yeah. Hell yeah. Shoulder pads. Yeah. I didn't yeah. mind them. It just felt weird going up the girl and then putting your arms on it and feeling this little cups. <laughs> it was like... Okay, that's cool. Uh, you're gonna be playing with the Chicago Bears anytime soon? Yeah? Yes, I'm gonna be the linebacker. <laughs> Shut up. I'm, embrace, I'm embracing my 80s. Thank you. So, anyway, um, yeah, so lady shoulder pads at the time, you know what? I, kinda, I don't mind them coming back. I really don't. A lot of stuff is coming back. I don't know. I, this is why I don't go, I don't really go shopping. I, I go to Goodwill yeah. a lot. I go through shopping mm -hmm. and just maybe Walmart. Mm -hmm. But here lately, I have noticed trends coming back. Mm -hmm. And now I'm like, I know how my mom felt when I was like wearing, you know, the bell bottoms. She's like, why are you wearing the hip, the hip hugger bell bottoms? Because that's what I wore. Mm -hmm. Well, now it's come back threefold because here I am, mm -hmm. her age, you know. Like, yeah. And now I'm like, why are these kids wearing parachute pants? Because they're coming back. Well, I know because we I we know enough. Yeah, okay. <laughs> parachute pants weren't that bad. I mean, no, I love them. Yeah, they weren't that bad. Yeah. 
But I just, the thing about parachute pants is that I can understand if you're parachuting, but if you're, if, you, if you're going like to the movie theater or something place like that, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We got a ghost in here. I got, hi Joey. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, bud? Sorry, our, our, our phone, our microphone just dipped a little bit. Our phone, fu- oh, that was so funny. <laughs> So anyway, uh, getting back, so the next thing is, oh God, from that to how to dress like the 80s with normal clothes. Look, speaking, look, and I wore these, look what I bought. They're Reeboks. Oh, Reeboks. They're old school, like, mm-hmm. and I'll get, we'll get pictures of it and we'll, we'll post them. Mm-hmm. But I have like the old school Jazzers. Jazzer size mm-hmm. um, high tops. Mm-hmm. I bought them at Marshalls. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Marshalls for twenty bucks. They were in the kids section. That's how that's how small my feet are. Oh, it's just five. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, these are nineteen eighties. Hold on, let me get a picture. Of and the rainbow socks and the skeletons. But yeah, mm-hmm. until the eighties. We back old school. You gotta put the sus sus sus. Look at the side. Okay. Look at that Rory box. The little mm-hmm. British furry. Yeah, British. Oh, British. Oh, God. oh. Yeah. Before we get started on the how to dress like the '80s normal clothes, I just want to start out by saying I put it on the last one, and it said that uh, one of the one of the goals that we have that I have I don't know if Deb is, is interested in it, but she might. But one of the things we're trying to do is, uh, like I said, get our Patreon started. But another thing what we want to do is we want to take Gen X to London. So that's a goal set for for many, many months down the road. Like I'm hoping like around November or December. And then we can fly and jet our asses off to London so we can do a podcast there. So I'm just putting I've that never in. been, so... Okay, so it's, it's fun. I've been to London before and I... God damn it, I want to go back again. <laughs> but it's, I don't want to go off into a little bit of a tangent on it, but I will say that that um, we are working to going to London uh, <coughs> probably around November or December. Now that's a long-term goal, so I don't want people holding my feet to the fire. If we do well on our Patreons and maybe a GoFundMe, then that will be one of the goals that we'll have and we can do a lot of and we can interview some people down there too as well so that's always good i would love to talk to some um some of the gen x people in in great britain and yeah Yeah. and ireland too yeah oh it's that's exactly ireland Mm -hmm. i would love to just just it's just two worlds i imagine Mm -hmm. definitely oh yeah definitely i i really want to do um something like that you know uh, and uh, okay, so getting back to the subject that I wanted to talk about, how to dress like the '80s with normal clothes. First of all, number one, embrace bright colors. Bright colors. Okay. Yes. Okay. Two, play with silhouettes. Okay. All right. So I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. Silhouettes. Okay. Uh, layer with denim. Accessorize with bold jewelry. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and costume jewelry. That's costume jewelry. so important. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of like ladies brace and embrace the bracelets. Mm-hmm. I mean, jelly bracelets. I remember wearing those. Mm-hmm. Um, slap bracelets. Mm-hmm. Um, gosh, big thing. <sighs> Madonna. We wore bows in our hair. <laughs> <laughs> David Gibson, the oh, I remember geez. the big the big earrings, the big huge bold earrings, mm-hmm. um, the big wide belt. Mm-hmm. Leg warmers. Oh jeez. Yeah. Leg warmers have come back. I did see that yeah. this past that's, winter. That's, I like leg warmers. I didn't I didn't want them to go out because I always thought that they were cute. They mm-hmm. look really good on our legs because we mm-hmm. you know we working out we look mm-hmm. like a little crab that's got mm-hmm. a little muscle there. Let's yeah, cute. let's do that. But um, acid wash mm-hmm. jeans. That yeah. shit's coming back too. Layers with denim. Um, accessories with bold jewelry. Uh, it says rock the high waist trend. I don't know really what that means. Dude, that high, 
Oh, yes, yes. High waisted jeans. I do. I have a pair. Mm -hmm. They're mom jeans. Oh, mom jeans. They're called mom jeans. Mom now. jeans, okay. No, they're high waisted back then, mm -hmm. but they're mom jeans now because, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. I, so it's a mom. <laughs> not me. I'm not a mom. I have a cat cat. Mm -hmm. But, no, high waisted jeans, I got a pair. Mm -hmm. They don't look good on me. Thanks for watching X Marks the Spot, a show that shines the light on the generation that no one talks about. Your host, Breeze Aubrey, and Devon Moore have more stuff to talk about in their podcast. And maybe you might get a chance to be on the show if you are a Generation Xer. So come on back to a show where MTV is still king. Big Hair is still wild, and the party never ends.